بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا موسٹ امپورٹنٹ ٹاپک دا ٹاپک از سبٹریکشن آف فائیو اینڈ سکس ڈیجٹ نمبرس ناؤ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شیئر یور بک پیج ٹویل page 12 the statement of first question is write vertically and subtract this is statement write vertically and subtract the first sum is 1401 minus 758 so first of all as per given condition we will write this sum into vertical form first we will write 1401 minus 758 dear students if we write over columns carefully and remember to work from the ones column first we find that subtraction with bigger number is easy write your column neatly first of all here in this sum we are going to add ones column this is ones column this is tens column this is hundreds column and this is thousand column there are four column be careful when you write vertically any sum column digit should be in column therefore it is easy for us to subtract one number from another now let us start from 1s column this is 1s column here we have the upper digit is the upper digit is 1 and the lower digit is 8 so we cannot subtract 8 from 1 therefore we should make it bigger number as compared to 8 so number should be bigger from 8 so for this purpose we take 10 carry from next digit next digit is 0 so we cannot take 10 carry from 0 so we will move for next digit next digit is 4 therefore we take 10 carry from 4 when we take 10 carry from 4 we cut 4 and cut 0 instead of 4 we will write here 3 and when we take 10 carry from 4 we get 3 here and we get 10 here 10 plus 0 add 10 carry with this digit this digit is 0 10 plus 0 answer is 10 now again we take 10 carry from this number this is 10 10 carry from 10 so cut 10 and write 9 it means number before 10 is 9 and cut 
so when you take 10 carry from 10 it means you will add 10 with 1 I mean 10 plus 1 answer is 11 so cut 1 and write 11 now we will subtract 8 from 11 write 11 minus 8 so answer is 3 so first we will write 3 then 9 minus 9 minus 5 the answer is 4 similarly here in third column in third column here we have 7 here we have 3 so we cannot subtract 7 from 3 so first we make upper number bigger for this purpose we take 10 carry from 1 we get 0 here and we get here we get 13 how get how we will get 13 10 plus 3 10 plus cut 3 and write up 13 or you can directly put 1 in front of 3 both methods are correct 13 minus 1 6 and 0 comes as it is so no need to write 0 on left side so in this way we can subtract part b c and d i am going to solve another one and after that remaining two parts you will solve by yourself <clears throat> look at part b part b is 6008 minus 4739 first we will write this number up 6008 then minus this number down 4739 then second thing that you want to do here digit should be in proper column this is first column this is second this is third and this is fourth here we have four columns this is the column of ones column of tens column of hundreds column of thousands here first of all we will subtract the ones column in this column we here we have 9 here we have 8 8 is less than 9 so first we make the bigger number up for this we take 10 carry from next digit next digit is 0 so we cannot take carry from 0 next digit is also 0 so we cannot take 10 carry therefore we will go on 6 take 10 carry from 5 when we take 10 carry from 5 here we will get 5 and here we will get 10 now again take 10 carry from 10 we will get 9 and here we will get 0 plus 10 10 now again take 10 carry from 10 we get 9 and here cut 8 10 plus 8 what is this this digit is 8 10 plus 8 18 you can write 18 like this 18 now subtract 9 from 18 18 minus 9 answer is 9 so write 9 here similarly you can subtract 3 from 9 9 minus 3 6 9 minus 7 2 and 5 minus 4 1 
So in this way, you can solve part C and D. Now, let us discuss question two. Question two, the statement is, write the number which is, which is what? 500 less than 3160 means less than mean you must subtract 500 this 500 from 3160 therefore we will write the bigger number first here 3160 minus 500 so after that you will write upper number uh, bigger number here up and smaller number down subtract write vertically in other words and then subtract column wise first we subtract 0 minus 0 0 6 minus 6 minus 0 6 and similarly here take 10 carry from 2 we get here 10 plus 1 11 11 minus 5 6 and 2 as it is here when we will take 10 carry we get 2 10 plus 1 11 10 plus 1 11 cut I remove one instead of uh, yeah, in place of one right 11 11 minus six, five answer is six and right two as it is so we will get two thousand six hundred and sixty right here this answer here in part b in part B, 1000 less than 9686. So write 9686 minus 1000. Here write in vertical form and then subtract. Here one thing that is very important, whenever you want to subtract, so you the digit must be column wise column wise mean the position of the digit of one stance should be in same column you cannot suppose if you write 1000 like this and the upper digit like this so it is difficult for you to subtract digit by digit therefore first digit must be under first digit second should seconds third digit should under the third digit Therefore, first digit column of first digit should be like this. This is second column. This is third column. This is fourth column. Remember that the digit of one place should be same. Ten place means the digit of ten place not go here and there mean mean replace the place of hundreds of ones so it, it is very important in subtraction 6 minus 0 6 8 minus 0 8 and 6 minus 0 6 9 minus 1 8 the answer will be at the end you must put this answer here in question 3 the statement is write the numbers 
to replace the star in each sum the first one is star 8 seven star minus 3 star star 2 answer is 5246 5246 so here we will replace star by correct digit the first one is dash what minus 2 equal to 6 so how the trick is that when you add 6 plus 2 add 6 plus 2 you will get 8 8 minus 2 equal to 6 7 minus what equal to 3 trick is subtract 7 from 4 from 7 you get 3 7 minus Here eight minus what equal to two, so subtract two from eight. Two minus eight that is six. Eight minus six equal to two. Dash minus three equal to five. Subtract five minus three equal to. Uh, here eight. Eight minus three equal to five. Or you can add five plus three eight. So in this way you can. find the missing digits here miss the same sum is written again the missing sum written with missing digits in this way we can solve part b in part b we have 4 star star 9 minus star 2 5 star so 9 minus what equal to 0 definitely when we subtract any digit by itself we get 0 therefore 9 minus 9 minus 9 9 minus 9 0 Dash minus five equal to one. Six minus five equal to one. Dash minus. Uh, other words, you can say five plus one six. Here seven minus. Dash plus. Uh, two equal to seven. Seven plus two nine. Nine minus two. Equal to seven. Here four minus what equal to one? Four minus. Three. For this direction, we will subtract. For this direction, we will add. Here, the same sum is written with missing digits. Similarly, we can solve part D. In part D, part C, solve by yourself. Part D: six star nine star minus star five star zero. So in ones column dash minus zero equal to seven. So here we will write seven minus zero equal to seven. Nine minus two equal to seven. Or you can how you get this number? Nine minus seven equal to two. And Here, how you got this number? Five plus three, five plus three, eight. Eight minus five equal to three. And how you got this number? Six minus zero, six. If you want to come this direction, add, add this with this. If you want to come this direction, add. From this direction, add. From this direction, subtract. Means five plus three here eight, nine minus seven in in this direction nine minus seven two six minus zero six here seven plus zero seven here seven plus zero seven five plus three eight 
this direction 9 minus 7 2 here this direction 6 minus 0 6 here in part C here we in this direction we will subtract in this direction we will subtract and here we will add 8 minus 8 answer is 0 2 plus 0 answer is 2 9 minus 4 answer is 5 and 5 plus 3 answer is 8 Here in question 5, we have more problems about subtraction, but here one thing is addition. One thing is more that we check by addition. Question 5, the statement is write these vertically and subtract. This is the first part of the question and the second then check by addition. There are two parts. The part A is 36,738 minus 12,849. First, we will write this sum in vertical form. First, we will write 36,738 minus 12,849. Dear students, hope so you understand the method of subtraction. So I am going to again subtract this sum and after that I will check or answer is correct or not by the method of addition. So first we take the column of once. Here, the lower digit is 9 and upper digit is 8. So, first we will take 10 carry from 3. We will cut 3 and we will write here 2. And here we will add 10 carry with 8. 10 plus 8, 10 plus 8 answer is 18 so cut 8 and write 18 18 minus 9 subtract 9 from 18 18 minus 9 9 so we will write here 9 now we will move to tens column in second column we have Here we have 4, here we have 2. So we take 10 carry from 7. Here we get 6 and here we get 12. Means 10 plus 2, 12. 12 minus 4, 8. Here we cannot subtract 8 from 6. Same procedure we will repeat. So take 10 carry from 6, cut 6 and write 5 here. And here add 10 with 6. 10 plus 6, 16. 16 minus 8, 16 minus 8. Answer is 8. So we will write here 8 and then here in fourth column we have 5 is greater and 2 is smaller. No need to take carry. So subtract 2 from 5 or 5 minus 2, answer is 3 and at the end we subtract 1 from 3, 3 minus 1, answer is 2. Now we have completed the first portion of our sum. Now how we will check whether our answer is correct or not. So for this purpose.
we will write the answer first this is the answer we write copy the answer again this and then add with any of the number this this number or this number any number now i am taking this number plus this number the sum of these two number should be this now first i copy this after that after that i will copy this number here now add them 9 plus 9 18 carry 1 9 plus 9 18 carry 1 8 plus 2 8 plus 4 sorry 8 plus 4 12 plus 1 13 right 3 here carry 1 8 plus 8 16 plus 1 17 carry 1 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 1 6 and 2 plus 1 3 Look at this answer: thirty-six thousand seven hundred and thirty-nine, which is same as this number. So this is verification. It means our answer is correct: thirty-six thousand seven hundred and thirty-nine. Hope so. You will understand uh, better in part B. I am going to solve part B. in part b we have 256704 minus 103028 so first we subtract 8 from we cannot subtract 8 from 4 therefore we take 10 carry from next digit next digit is 0 so from first we take carry from Seven. Here we will write six, and here we will get ten. Ten. When you take ten carry, you get nine here, and here ten plus four, cut four and write fourteen. Ten plus four, ten is carry, and add four. Ten plus four, fourteen. Now fourteen minus eight, answer is six. Nine minus two, answer is seven. Six, six minus zero, answer is six, and six minus three. Six minus three answer is three. Five minus zero answer is five. Two minus one answer is one. Now, that's how we check. First, I copy this number, and I will write the same number here. Answer here. Then I will write this number here and add both number. We should get this number. so we will add these two numbers 8 plus 6 14 carry 1 7 plus 2 9 plus 1 10 carry 1 6 plus 1 7 3 plus 3 6 5 plus 0 5 1 one plus 1 one, 2 Look at this number. This is two hundred and fifty-six thousand seven hundred and four, which is same as this number. I mean, how you verify this plus this? You get this number. Here we will in part B. First we subtract these two, and after that, for checking, we copy this number here. then then this number here and we will add them and you will see that when you add you get this number and this number definitely will be same like this dear students in this way you can subtract question 6 and 7 as well question 6 and 7 both questions are very easy in question 6 you 
have to subtract just subtract 100 from given numbers and similarly in question 7 you can subtract 500 from given numbers these questions are very easy and inshallah in next video we will learn about the multiplication thank you and allah hafiz